That's right guys, I managed to get this amount of progress by using the simple tips I'm going to show you in this video. So stay tuned and enjoy. Hello everybody and welcome back to this brand new event get video on the channel. I'm glad you're watching today because in this video you will see without a doubt the fastest way to complete this event. I will simply walk you through the process and show you all the steps you have to do as well as show the equipment you need to do this. And if you don't own it I will also provide some other equipment you can use. If you find this video to be helpful then please leave a like and if you are new on the channel or are not subscribed already but check out my content regularly please make sure to subscribe to the channel as well, since we're nearly at 1000 subscribers. But enough of the boring stuff, let's just get right into the video and I'm going to show you how this works. Well, basically we are abusing a speed glitch, which is still not patched, but hey, it's the fastest way to do this and that's what this video is about. So don't blame me in the comments, please. As you can see, I'm also not harming any other players and stopping their fun, I'm harming myself by running in the barrel and exploding myself. But yeah, this event is pretty friendly, you don't have to kill your enemies to gain progress and I recommend you don't do that. As always though, there will be some exceptions in every lobby and my lobby it's gonna be this Peppa Pig guy who just kills us for no reason at all. But yeah, well... At least this method also helps avoid his damage. Alright then, let's talk about the strategy I'm using in this video so you can do it as well and gain event progress a lot faster than the other players. First of all, I'm going to show you the build I'm using right now and also explain why I use the different components and then show you how the speed glitch is done if you don't know it already. The first item is gonna be the hand strong head from the newly released bundle this event and it's the most important part of this set since it increases our event progress by 5 times. So you gain 5 times the points by just collecting the vegetables and fruits. To add even more sweet sweet progress I'm also using the newly released onion pet which also increases our gained points by times 2. Just keep in mind that that together doesn't add up to a 10 times multiplier, it's only a 7 times since they are counted separately. As for the jacket, you can basically use whatever you want. I want with the medic jacket just to get some extra health and not die too quick. Since we also try to get the 300 points required to get into Gordon Ramsay mode and get some extra points. If there's no one killing you in your lobby, you can basically go for anything else, maybe even more speed, but in this case it's not gonna be needed since you're running around like Flash anyways. Still, to make this as efficient and as fast as possible, I also added some speed increasing lags, just so we don't have to do the glitch as much and gain more speed by doing so. The main reason why I use these lags is obviously the passive ability, collecting event pickups, from 9 meters away. So you don't have to run directly through them and collect them, you just have... well, you have to run around the map and they will collect themselves. Okay, as you can see, I killed myself on purpose there as well, so now I can tell you how to do the speed glitch. The things you need to do this are the tiny pistol, mastery, and this sword. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with any other sword, but if you don't own the tiny pistol, you can also use the stun grenades and do the same process as I'm just telling you right, All right. now. So to better explain it, I'm just going to slow it down here so you can see it as well. You want to move forward and if you walk a few steps, you push your joystick to the back and walk a few steps backward. And while doing that, you also activate the tiny pistol mastery or your gadget if you don't own it. If you didn't quite get it, I recommend you just skip a few seconds back, watch it again and then try to practice it in missions mode where no one's gonna annoy you. Every time you do that, moving back, activating the pistol, moving forward again, it increases your speed by a slight amount and if you do it 4 to 5 times in a row, you just run around like a speed hacker without even hacking the game. You can obviously increase your speed 
even more by doing it a few more times, but I don't recommend it because controlling your player is gonna be really hard at that point. So I found to be four to five is the sweet spot. You should also keep in mind that this head increases our speed by 25% as well whenever we collect event pickups. So yeah, even more speed added. And that's gonna be the first round of me using this technique. Let's see how much progress I got. And isn't that amazing? Almost 50% progress on an event that's supposed to last 4 weeks in total in just a single game. Let's just quickly collect all the stuff I got and we'll see us in the second match where I show you some alternatives if you don't own the stuff I showed right now. So this is actually the second game right after I recorded the first match and I got the perfect map to finish this event as fast as possible. It's this part of the map especially where you can double the points by just walking around with some event pickup collection pans or the cloud pad. So basically what's happening here, as you can see, some event pickups spawn on top, others spawn on bottom floor. So if you just run around like this with some event pickup attracting pants or the cloud pad, you gain double the progress. Speaking of the cloud pad, that's actually a nice alternative you can use if you don't own the legs I showed earlier. Its radius is a bit smaller, but it still works pretty well and to be honest, at that speed it doesn't matter at all. As for the legs, if you're using the cloud pad and not the onion one, I recommend you use some more agility, for example these ones, to further increase the effect of this glitch. As for the gadget, which you probably wondered, because normally I'm using the healing or the spotters, I'm using the water balloons in this case. This just helps to maximize progress since you can turn into a large chef by collecting 300 points, as you can see in the top right corner. And if you manage to do that, you will get 200 points awarded for free. Once you manage to collect the 300 points and the 200 point event progress award, you can't do it another time unless you die in between. So the water balloons are just my one shot kill I can use on myself to ensure that I can collect 300 points again and gain even more event progress. This whole killing yourself thing is obviously optional since the head and pad doesn't multiply the points you gain, so you're just stuck with the 200 points and you don't gain a thousand if you're using the head for example. But still, in my opinion, it's gonna be a little bit faster and that's what we are all about here. Just keep in mind that if you try to kill yourself, you should not equip the zombie bull mastery since you are not going to one shot yourself and then you'll have to wait for the gadget cooldown. And that's obviously gonna be slower. And now for the last method, you don't actually own any of the items I just showed. You don't own the chef's head, you don't own the sword, you don't own the tiny pistol. Whatever it is, you can always use the steam thumper for the same effect. In this case you want to max your speed and just go for the active skill of the thumper. So just use the highest agility legs, body and heads you can get and then just equip them in one build. After that you can just activate its active skill, maybe combine it with this pet which also increases your speed whenever you collect metals and then just run around as fast as this glitch. Well, maybe not that fast, but still it comes pretty close and it's really, really useful if you can't do this. As for the last builds I'm going to recommend, but they are not ideal and there are really better options in this video. So if you don't own any of the items I mentioned before, you can also go for the Raid Hulk with the Medikit gadget or use a fast moving build with preferably any sword, since they allow to get around the map faster and no one's trying to kill you, so you're good to go. Whew. And that, my guys, sums up my event guide video for the Food Wars event 2021. I hope you enjoyed it and I'm sure it helped you out, since it really helped me out and, well, if you do the same thing, you can't lose. And by lose, I mean not getting event progress and by that I mean look at that. And before it gets embarrassing, I'm just going to say 
it once again, thank you for watching the video, make sure you like it if you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already and we will see us in the next one.